Hey everyone, thanks for clicking this video. My name is Chance and today we're back with another horror movie reaction. Well, sort of a horror movie reaction. Today we have two new companion pieces that go with the Outwaters movie that we did a reaction for recently. Now the first one is titled Card Zero, which is supposed to be a prequel to the movie that's supposed to give us some more insight to the characters and the stuff that went on beforehand. I'm not sure if that's going to maybe explain some of the stuff that's going on in the Outwaters. I have a feeling that it might give us some insight. Now the second card is actually an epilogue to the Outwaters. Waters, and that one is titled VL624. And I was also pointed out on Twitter that that's actually the ship in Aliens Backwards, which is LV42 or yeah, LV426. So it really makes me think that this might be something with aliens. I mean, that's kind of a big find there. That's got to be something related with outer space or aliens, but who knows? It could just be a nod. It could be something that actually has to do with it. But we'll find out here because I'm going to be doing both cards in this reaction. Uh, the first card, card zero, is around 30 minutes. And I believe the second one, the epilogue, is only around 20 minutes. So I figured I would just combine both of these into one video. But before I get started, I want to give a huge thanks to the director, Robbie Banfitch, for giving me an early screener to check these out. Uh, this comes out March 24th on Screenbox. I'm watching this a couple weeks early, so I will be releasing the reaction on the day it comes out, which is March 24th on Screenbox. But I loved the Outwaters, and I'm really excited to check out these extra two cards and hopefully add some more context or just keep us theorizing and guessing. Either way, I'm sure it's going to be great. So we're just going to go ahead and hop right into the Outwaters card zero and file VL624. All right, I got the captions on because I feel like there was a lot of hints in the captions last time. I'm also super hyped that there's two other pieces to this film because I loved it so much and there's so much theories. I feel like we might get a little bit, you know, some more answers. Evidence, Mojave Poli uh, County Police Department, memory card, date of collection, 9-7-2017. Is it the same date that they collected the other ones? Because I feel like this is a later date. What are the three qualities about me that you were first attracted to? Your face. You didn't see this person in the in the movie. I wonder if something happened. Yeah. Wait, ask, answer that about me. I need to feel good about myself. <laughs> Some positive affirmation. I think all your trinkets. <laughs> what I was going to say is I don't like to just be given things. I like there to be a sharing of things. Like quaaludes? <laughs> it did say in the synopsis that this was a you know they talked about this being a prequel and it's a tale of heartbreak i wonder if this heartbreak leads to any of the events in our movie can you like at least turn the screen away or something? i don't know if i want to see myself <laughs> somebody who recently started reactions is very weird looking at yourself in camera i wonder if this is their friend michelle singing i believe that was her name right michelle is that a blunt Fairy split. What's a fairy split? What's you it? Know, tobacco, sage. What? Rose I want a fairy spliff. Can I get one like now? I'm gonna go find some sage and I mean I got some green. I just need some sage and flower petals. I like a boy. I love a boy. I like a boy. I love you a boy. Love him? I like him. Or you like him? I love him. I'm surprised, right? He's at the stage to where he's falling in love with him, but she doesn't know anything about him. How do I not come on too strong? Just just be yourself, but just That like, doesn't work. I don't know, I'm just thinking. It seems like he's really in love with him here. I don't know how far before this is from the movie, but he didn't seem really affected in the movie by whatever heartbreak happens in here. I don't really do any pills or anything like that. Oh, poppers. <laughs> I know what that is. <laughs> it was the first time I've heard somebody talk about it in a movie, but... When are you going to record your song? I want to film Try the, some um... poppers. Hopefully soon. So this isn't too far before the movie. They're already talking about the music video. My biggest fear, somewhere along hey, the lines of heights license plate, failure. Tinsman Road. That's Robbie yeah, Banfitch's sure. next sort of movie. Toggles between those two. I wonder if that was in the um, movie as well, out The Outwaters. In what ways do you think we're similar? I don't know. What ways do you think we're similar? Both have brown hair. <laughs> you come from darkness and I come Shut from the darkness. fuck up. Do you actually think that? That you come from darkness? Yeah. No. Really? I don't think you're... No, no, no. Then why'd you say it? It was the first thing that came to my mind, so I just said Shut it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm taking everything they say to heart, because any and everything could mean any and everything. <laughs> Did you grow up in this house? No. Um, I did grow up here, though, in Santa Clarita. Mm -hmm. Oh, Santa Clarita. But nice. I'm only saying nice. I've never been there, but... I've seen the show Santa Clarita Diet, <laughs> and I love that show, so. What the dog doing? Oh, look at the puppy. Look at the puppy, he wants a handshake. My puppies are not down here with me right now. This is like the one music I can't get down with. <laughs> but hey, 
I don't judge. To each their own. You know, we all have our own tastes. This is the same place they were in before. So th is this them like scouting? They did come here before, huh? I'm pretty sure this is that same lake that they were in before. There's actually other life out here this time. Before it was just them. Hmm. This is very interesting that we're here before the events out. I thought in the Outwaters that was the first time they had been there. And they're gonna leave me and go fuck around in the bushes. <laughs> fuck around in Every the bushes. Every healthy relationship needs a spontaneous. <laughs> no. I don't want to fuck in the bush. So far everything seems okay with their relationship. Strange bird calling. I know it's just the way that in the movie it they made it feel like that was the first time that they were there and they didn't acknowledge Hello? the existence of the previous boyfriend. Did something happen during that scene and we didn't get it on camera? This is it, like right here. Oh wait, no. Are we going was that not the desert from the first movie and but this is right here that where we're going? Because this does look like that road. It all almost looks the same to me. It's hard to tell. Hey, it's the it's the, it's the donkeys. I don't know, I just get a feeling that something happened to Robbie on this first visit and it made him bring his other friends back here. Reminds me of my mom being out here. What? Yeah, I remember her saying that last okay? time. What? Your fucking nose is bleeding. His nose is bleeding. Yeah, something up with this place, man. I'm wondering, I'll have to ask Robbie during the interview, but I'm wondering if this was shot while filming The Outwaters or was this something that they did afterwards? Or was this, you know, were these two cards always part of part of the plan. There was that radio distorting again, just like in the in the movie. When we have to do the actual music video, you can drive again. Well, he, we know he's not gonna be there. Take somebody else's car. I'm kind of sad knowing that this is gonna end in a heartbreak. I like them together as a couple. I mean, it's like, like we we know that Robbie ends up essentially in hell. <laughs> Ta-da. It's like a going steady ring. Where'd you get it? In the store. I thought you'd like it. <laughs> Thank you? He's giving me weird vibes. I feel stupid. As if like... I don't know why you feel stupid. I feel like I just freaked you out. That's the feeling I'm getting too. That's why I'm like, I don't like the way he's reacting. But maybe it's because I'm like Robbie and I would take that the same way. <laughs> I just said I was tired. I had a work <laughs> thing. We were in the desert all day. Wait, is this the same night that they got back? He's in love with you. He's in love with you. You're in a relationship. You're in a relationship. You've never been in a relationship. Real one. Hey, I totally get that. I was in that same boat. <laughs> I didn't get into a real a real relationship till much later in my life as well. The lyrics in some of these songs are just very foreboding. There's the that rumble. That feels different from Earthquake. I mean, like I've been in Earthquake or no. No. Was that an Earthquake? The lamps swaying. That sounds like some outwater shit. <laughs> I feel like that I'll wasn't... I'll figure it out. I'm good. It was an Earthquake. I'm good. And his nose is bleeding at the same time? I don't know. I feel like he might be connected in some way. Because they all went out to the desert, but he's the only one that's getting these nosebleeds. Come to bed. I don't like watching this slow mo heart. Do you want? Break. Should I just go? Slow mo heartbreak slash breakup. No. So he was at his house. Robbie was at his house. <laughs> Did you ask him in the bathtub? I don't like how last night ended. I'm like sitting here wanting them to make up, but I just know how this is going to end. So, but I can still hope, right? <laughs> They seem like a real cute couple at first. And that desert fucked everything up. Julian dumped me. What? Oh no. You guys seemed happy. Off camera? I mean, obviously it would be off camera, most likely. I'm just gonna look at it the next time I like somebody. No, don't do that. Yeah, don't be, don't be cynical. I understand. I've been there. It's easy to crawl in the cynical shell. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. There's someone else out there for you. I don't know. We need to check up on him and his nosebleed. Something happened in that desert. You act like mom. Why don't you talk to mom? I love mom. Then why don't you fucking call her? I also want to know what the relationship issue is with him and his mom. <laughs> Hit them high notes. Okay, I see you, Robbie. So his boyfriend's name was Julian, right? Oh, don't cry. Don't be sad. 
You're gonna make me sad. Oh my god. Fucking A, bro. <laughs> That thunder scared the shit out of me. So his nose was bleeding now. In what seemed to be a little bit later than card zero. I'm sorry, I just need to say that. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> that was really good, though. I feel like it did add some context to things, but also I have a lot more questions. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hop into the other card now. All right, here we go. This is the finale, the prologue. Kind of nervous. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Police department recovered data cards zero through three. Restoration completed two three 2023. Last month. For internal review, data transfers one through seven raw video such sound assembled assembly corrupted. Transfer one. So I'm wondering if this really takes place afterwards or if these are scenes that were cut from the original tapes due to corruption that we didn't get to see. Bird calling louder. Remember when the bird called him earlier and he went over there? And then we didn't get to see exactly what happened after he was like, hello? It's the birds, the birds did it. Eesh, that actually made the ground shake right there. I'm wondering, is this the first night? More of him exploring? What is he doing? Is he naked at this point? Is this when he was walking around naked? Okay, no. So I don't know if th these transfers are in chronological order, seeing as it's like corrupted footage, or if we're going to be bouncing back and forth. Because if I remember right, they all, it happened the first night they spent, right? Or was it the second night? <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> it's good to see them laughing. Yeah, we out here. And not maniacally. So yeah, it seems like these are just taking from the three tapes that we already saw, but it looks like we didn't see everything that was on those tapes, that some of the footage was corrupted. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That would suck. And you're just out in the open, so it's not like it can stop against anything? I'm trying to see... Is there something pulling it? Interesting. Didn't like that. I'll have to ask how they did that shot. Because normally I would think they would just have, you know, a clear string and somebody pulling it, but it was actually, like, floating. Okay, yeah, so these are definitely not chronological order, because now we're back before they went to the desert. <laughs> the hell was that? You either sound like a bomb dropping or, like, sirens, but they were in an airplane... <laughs> Thousands of feet above the air. Oh, don't like that. Please don't do that switching stuff. That scares me. See those three birds? I don't know if that means anything, <laughs> but I'm looking at them. I don't like those distorted voices. They're so fucking creepy. Hello! I heard the echo. Where's the brother? Hello! Play, play, play. Hello! I am Canyon. Is the Earth speaking to them? Is he hearing those voices? Or is it the camera just capturing it? What the hell? It's almost like the Earth itself. Or like I said, like before, interdimensional beings that can't be seen or heard almost normally. And they're like responding to the things they're saying. Like they were saying beep and then something else was saying beep and then they're like, play with me. I am Canyon. This is the music that was playing at the end of the movie. Oh, Julian's from Utah. That's what I, it's like gigabytes. Like gigabytes. Oh <laughs> Melissa, she's helping me surprise my mother. Oh my God. <laughs> <sighs> it's getting intense. That creeped me out. I am Canyon? Why is the Earth talking to us? Come stand over here. That's my daughter? They said that's my daughter and her mom's supposed to be dead. Are we like on a plane for the afterlife or something? Is this like a place where spirits go to rest? Why did it say that's my daughter? 
Yeah, I'm definitely probably not going to piece together a theory or my thoughts right after watching this. I'm going to need to think <laughs> and do some digging. I love movies like this, though, that make you think and just want to, and not even just like in a, a metaphorically or like a theme way, like, oh, like, you know, like political or any sort of emotional theme, just like that makes me theorize and think about what's going on and try to put the pieces together. I love when movies do that. There's the distorted screaming. It's almost like the barrier between them and the afterlife is like cracking. So was it, was that Robbie laughing? It said man laughing, but he was also in there. I think the theories of him being the one that killed everyone is true, but why? Because they'll be creeping into your mind. And it's, that's what it seemed like was happening to Julian and Robbie with the nosebleeds. Decipher me. Decipher me. Unravel me. I am the canon, canon song, I am to show you. Smoke weed every day. What? What does it mean? Oh yes, this is when the nosebleed first started happening in card zero. It almost seemed like in a trance. Was he just seeing that light? So he was seeing this, a lot of stuff was happening before they even went. The hell? Hey. Is this afterwards? What the hell? He had the sharp, the bloody thing that he found in the movie that he was cutting himself with. And the thing that he found, the little skull. Shit. This is going to wreck my brain for like the next month. I'm going to really have to think about this. Shit. I need to talk to some more people. <laughs> I don't know if I'm smart enough to decipher this. Like the damn Demon Canyon song creature or thing was telling me to all right well those were the two extra tapes to the outwaters and man while i feel like that did answer some things for me or at least not answer anything but give me more insight i still have a lot of questions which is actually really good that's what i was hoping it would do but there's so much in here and so much to unpack that i'm gonna have to like do a live stream and really deep dive on this and probably watch a couple breakdowns and watch this a few more times myself so for now i'm just gonna give my quick afterthoughts on what i thought of both tapes so for card zero i was really impressed with the acting between the two characters just because it felt so natural even you know in the outwaters everything felt natural as well but this felt more intimate you know because it was just these two characters and their relationship and even knowing where robbie ends up you know at the end of the outwaters i was just really invested in the relationship and i didn't want anything bad to happen i was really rooting for them so i really got to commend the writing and the performance of both the actors because they did an amazing job i loved what they did there and i felt like with the first tape even though you know it focused on the relationship we still got some more insight to the desert as well as for the second tape i have to say the editing in that is insane amazing i felt like robbie did an amazing job with the editing i get why he said that this was his most ambitious as far as editing goes. And I can really tell it was not easy because the way it was stitched together to actually make it look like corrupt footage put together and some of the distorted sounds and the way it would cut. Bravo, 10 out of 10, I thought that was amazing. And those are the things that stood out the most to me on each tape. As far as like theories and stuff like that goes, like I said, I'm gonna have to really sit on this one because the more closer I feel like I get, I also feel like I'm getting further. And I really wanna take my time to watch this a few more times and pick some other people's brains and see what they think before I I decide to really give my thought on what's actually happening. At the same time, I don't want an exact answer because it's really fun sort of coming up with your own idea of what's happening. So while I am the kind of person that tends to like when things get explained and origins, you know, for certain horror characters and stuff like that, I also do like when they leave it open ended and leave it up to us to try and, you know, use our imagination to what's happening or what's actually going on. But I really enjoyed these two tapes. I think they went perfectly with the movie. Don't forget, you can check it out on Screenbox March 24th, which should probably be today when this is coming out. And if you haven't yet, for some reason, if you stumbled upon this video watch the outwaters first watch that then watch the prologue tape and then the epilogue tape but like i said i really enjoyed this movie so if you enjoyed the video please go ahead and hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you're not and then hit the notification bell that way you can be notified anytime i upload and as always you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys next time